Yes, I want to talk now about my friend Claire. She is from Dudley. They have very thick accents in Dudley, you'll be familiar. She sort of, she talks like that, like she's waiting to die. <laughs> I love Claire, love Claire, but she's a few condoms short of an orgy. She, um, <laughs> she microwaves her clothes to dry them. <laughs> she never cleans the microwave, so she always smells of baked beans. <laughs> Coarse, coarse is the word for her. She's one of those friends who sort of feel like you have to apologise for her. You find it quite funny at the same time. We went to watch Mad Max at the IMAX. Brilliant film, recommend it. But midway through, there are these chastity belts. And she leant over to me very loudly in a very busy IMAX. And she went, those chastity belts are shit. <laughs> I said, well, why'd you say that? And she went, well, as I always say, if you can get a poo out, you can get a knob in. <laughs> Something to live your life by, sure. <laughs> As you always say, never stop saying that, do you, Claire? Little catchphrase. <laughs> oh, and she's so bad with men, dreadful with men. She'll go through a different boyfriend every sort of two or three months, and you know they're a bad egg, just based on their name. She'll introduce me, she'll be like, this is Zane or Adolf or something, you just know. <laughs> and last one, so awful. She came round, she said, he's got this new sex thing where he likes to ejaculate on my face and take a photo of it. <laughs> said, That's dreadful and she went and I don't know what face to pull <laughs> <laughs> it's a valid question is it you go like thank you and you go like mm. <laughs> no snapchat filter in the world for that is there yeah? <laughs> yes and she gets so drunk as well because we go out gay clubbing we'll club a gay to death maybe once a month <laughs> I'm so pleased with that joke when I wrote it like, take the month off Joe fuck it because it's just a play on words as well. And I don't really engage with the gay community that often. There's one gay club which I love. It's called Hard Cock Life. And it's a gay hip-hop night. And it's so... Because right, it's, it's very camp gay men, paired off with very aggressive, often misogynist rap lyrics. So it'd be like, smash her in the pussy. Like, yeah, smash her in the pussy! That's really good. <laughs> I don't know if it's an avocado and feta smash in the pussy. I'm not sure. But it's a very good night out. She gets so drunk, Claire. I had to put her in a cab before midnight the other way. She got this bag of chips covered in curry sauce. She's not very graceful in heels at the best of times. She sort of, she looks like when I put toilet rolls on my cat's legs. She just sort of like... <laughs> just not with it. The taxi driver spotted her a mile off. He's like, you're not coming in this cab with those chips. And she went, all I want in my life is these chips. That's all I've ever wanted. He's like, if you soil the cab in any way, you'll have to pay a big fine. She's like, I won't, I promise I just want these chips. He was like, all right. I opened the door for her. She tripped and just pissed the chips into the cab. <laughs> all over the window, into the chair. And because she was so drunk, she just went, shh. It was like pushing them into the road. She's not right, she's not right. <laughs> but when, when she gets drunk, she comes up with these little wisdoms, these little philosophies. And one of them, I'm trying to live my life by, because I just think it's absolutely brilliant. Claire thinks if somebody's difficult with you in life, awkward, making your life hard for any reason, shouldn't try and rationalise with them, shouldn't try and speak to them on their level, you should try and outweird them. <laughs> Which came in very usefully for me recently in my local post office. There's a woman there, she's been there about 20 years. I don't like her. She's smug, is the word. <laughs> One of those faces that's so smug it sort of folds into itself. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. <laughs> she looks like someone's punched a quiche. <laughs> And she's called Lorraine. <laughs> no, you're better than that. Um, <laughs> and she's always got some quip, some line. I went in with my passport form, and they do a check and send service at the post office, and she licked her finger and she went through it. And she went, ah, your referee has spelt neighbour wrong. And I went, what? Like, it's missed out the H on neighbour. You'll have to fill it in again. I was like, surely that's all right. And she went, no, no. There can be no risk of any confusion as to what that word means. You'll have to fill it in again. Pushed it back at me. I thought, I'm not having this. It takes ages to fill out that form. You have to send off for it. You have to get a referee. I thought, I'm not having it. So I thought, I'll be a bit weird with her. So I went, oh, no, sorry. He's, um, he's not my neighbour. He's my doctor. She went, what? I said, he's misspelled doctor. So doctor's obviously spelled D-O-C-T-O-R. He spelled it N-E-I-G-B-O-U-R. <laughs> he spelled doctor wrong. And she went... No, that clearly says neighbour. Oh, does I?
Did Keish face back it? I didn't know. <laughs> God, that was so good, wasn't it? If you enjoyed that, stick around, watch some more, if you like. Like and subscribe, please. <laughs>